Yeah. That's great. Good job. Oh, I'm so happy it worked. Hey, Steph. <laughs> Hi, Eric. Hey. I, I just did it already. Hey. <laughs> Do I have blueberries in my hand? Hi. Hi. There's no one to shout. No shout? Okay. Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric Bates. I'm a professional cigar box juggler. And today I'm joined by my girlfriend, Stephanie Fournier. Hello. Who is also a circus artist and dancer. And you can check her out on her Instagram. Steph underscore Fournier 28. And today she has joined me so that we can teach you how to make cigar boxes. Actually, we're going to teach ourselves. <laughs> we're gonna try. We've never actually done this before. We're gonna try to make some of these out of these. And what we found is that a box of crackers is an almost exact match to a cigar box. Mine are specialty made for juggling uh, from Dubai. A uh, prop manufacturer, uh, a prop manufacturer that makes all sorts of juggling equipment. You can check them out at dubay.com. And so we're going to try to make the same thing, but out of something that you might have around the house, a box of crackers. Triscuits. Triscuits. Point, point, point. Yeah, you're, you're going to see what happens. You start doing tutorials <laughs> and you start pointing and saying awesome all the time. For this project, you're going to need some duct tape, a pair of scissors, a box of Triscuits or any kind of crackers. Empty, of course, because you're gonna want to fill it with something. And so we decided to try different things. Uh, we're gonna try to stuff it with plastic bags, with rags, or you can also use some piece of clothing. This is coming from the future of the video. Whatever you put into the box is gonna stay there. So don't put your favorite pair of underwear, or you're gonna have to destroy your brand new cigar boxes to get them back. Pro tip. And you open your box. Oh, look at, oh, hey. Oh, yeah, or well, we can try a pool noodle. Yeah, fun surprise. Great. I didn't know they were doing that. No. As if everyone has pool noodles <laughs> laying around their house, like no one is going to use pool noodles. Step one, stuff the box. <laughs> Welcome to Eric's craft channel. <laughs> Thanks for watching, have fun crafting. Working too, that's great. Oh, I've got a towel and a plastic bag, a reusable grocery bag. Now you don't want to stuff them too tight because if the end bows out, if it gets not square, it, it makes it harder to juggle. So don't pack as much stuff as you can in there, but you want some resilience. Oh, well that is pleasantly firm. I feel like I'm explaining this like it's rocket science, but <laughs> step one, get some crackers. Step two, put some bags in a box. Step three, you're done. Hashtag couples crafting. That, that took what? That took all of the uh, seven seconds after the two and a half hour camera setup. Let me see that thing. Oh, yours is really light though. I like the weight of mine better. Oh, grab the scale. Grab the scale. Okay, so I make coffee on this thing. It's a baking scale. And you don't need this. This is optional. This is not necessary. But I'm gonna put it here and hopefully the top camera will catch it. I like Triscuits. <laughs> so we're gonna put a normal box on the scale just to show you how much a normal box weighs. Uh, and then maybe you can try to get something similar to that. Here we go. Is that zero? A zero. Exciting. What does it say? 22.1. 22.1 grams. So a normal box of Triscuits is 200 grams, so when it's full, it'll feel kind of similar to that weight, if you're curious about what a cigar box normally feels like. Uh, okay, and uh, my box, which has a couple of bags in there, 224. So that is remarkably close to the right size, in case you want to be extremely scientific about your Triscuit cigar box. <laughs> maybe, maybe. So I think what we should do is reinforce the sides so they don't bend and squish and stuff. So I think we should tape all the sides and then you wanted to tape the middle, right? <laughs> yeah, we tape the sides and then do a line all the way around the outsides so that we have a little bit of the texture of the tape to make it less sticky than just uh, the slippery box. Because on a normal cigar box, where do they go? On a normal cigar box, 
uh, you've got a little bit of fabric here that's kind of like felt, or it's actually called ultra suede, which uh, you can probably buy somewhere, but you probably don't have it at home. So the tape or the fabric on the ends is gonna help make the juggling a little bit easier. It gives it more friction. So we're gonna try to do that with duct tape. Wow, I hope this works. This is awesome so far. Yeah. I mean, that's really, that's really going well. Let's see a beginner. Oh yeah. Hey, so that's looking pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it's feeling, yeah, feeling very juggleable so far. I guess if you wanted, you could have spray painted this stuff before you started if you wanted it to look a little bit better. Um, but these will get you started. There you go. We made three cigar boxes. Uh, and now we are going to give them a try. Yes. Yeah. He's going to give them a try. Yeah. I'll just go eat triscuits. These are awesome. Wow. Oh my gosh, what have I been doing? Buying boxes. This one's a little light. Okay, so I'm trying them out quick. I can tell that these, this one is a lot lighter. So I'm really trying to make sure all three are about the same weight because you'll notice the difference. Uh, yeah. You're screaming again. I got excited. I get excited when I juggle. Wow. Wow, it's actually working. success. Yeah. If you end up making these and you want to learn some more tricks, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell so you know every time a new video comes out. I'm doing plenty of tutorials and trick videos and talking about my life as a professional circus artist. So check that out. Thanks for watching. Have fun boxing and crafting. And bonding. Yes. <laughs> Cheers.